This hairstyle looks way better from the side than it does from the front. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, and it's finally happening. It's happening. I am finally doing squishy makeovers. You guys have been requesting me to do this for pretty much ever since I started my first Create This Book video, and I didn't do it for a very long time. And the main reason was I didn't have the supplies, I didn't think I could do it, and I just didn't want to turn into like a copy of Mariah Elizabeth. But I think that this is going to be totally fine and I don't even know if it's gonna be a series or not we'll see how this goes but yeah let me just kind of show you what I've got you can kind of see the little bit of the squishies over there so first we're kind of going through the squishy process we have fabric fusion which is to glue the squishy together I got a big thing of puffy paint because I actually don't have any puffy paint puffy paint is very good for sealing up holes and cracks in the squishy next I got some slick fabric paint and I got white and I got black Slick fabric paint is usually only used when you want more texture, more shine to it. And then the main attraction was the plain matte fabric paint. Now, this is not the exact one that Mariah Elizabeth recommends. However, it is the same brand and it just says it's brush on fabric paint. So I feel like that makes sense. Guys, this is my new obsession. I've been doing this, see this, too much. So now let me introduce you to our victims are squishies that we're gonna be making over today. So, the first one is the only squishy that I actually own myself, my own little squishy. And that is this little pineapple. Oh, look how cute. I got it at an amusement park. I want it playing arcade games. It is very squishy. I actually already pulled out a little key ring at the top of it. There was a whole key ring. However, over the time, because I did squish it a lot, the top part is almost completely fallen off, so I will need to reattach that. But other than that, it's in like pretty good condition. Um, I think I'm gonna keep the same general design. I think I'm gonna do things super simple for these first makeovers, guys, because I don't know what I'm doing. And then second thing we have is a hot dog. I remember one year, a couple years ago, in our stockings, my parents gave each of my siblings one squishy and this is the one that like my brother Luke got so don't tell him that I'm doing this with it because he doesn't know but I don't think he'd care. This one is also super weird because like the hot dog part of it is like really hard. It does have a lot of rips and cracks and so definitely a lot of room for improvement on this one. I feel like I need to sanitize my hands after touching those. I'll just take a deep breath and get started. The first thing we gotta do to our little friend is scratch the heck out of it. When you have a smooth squishy, you have to use sandpaper to make sure that the paint can adhere, because if you don't do that, the paint will just peel right off. Once we finished aggressively scraping the squishy, it was time to break out the fabric fusion, which I tried to use without breaking the seal, okay? So I'm just reattaching the top of that pineapple with the fabric fusion, just filling it all in there, and then I have to rubber band it shut and leave it for about 30 minutes in order for it to dry. So here's me waiting and then deciding to do the cup song with my hands because I was bored, I guess, I don't, I don't know. 12 seconds later. And here she is, all dry and ready for unfurling. So we're taking off the rubber bands one at a time, waiting for that to unravel. <laughs> and the fabric paint did a great job because it stuck on there pretty well. Next, I'm breaking out my scissors to cut off that top bit where the keyhole thing used to be, and then also just cleaning up some seams, messy areas, areas that I don't want to look like that before breaking out my puffy paint to fill in the holes. <laughs> so I'm using my white puffy paint straight from the tube to fix up all the little holes, cracks, and just areas that need fixing with the puffy paint. This basically just creates a smooth surface for me to work on when I finally start to paint this darn thing. Coat number two, and we're going strong, filling all these little areas, reinforcing what we already had done, and just having an overall grand of a time. Right, folks? Yeah. <laughs> Multiple layers of that later, and we finally have our pineapple. This is what it looks like with all of the puppy paint on it, and now we're pulling out the fabric paint. So we got this matte fabric paint here, and we're getting the yellow paint and some white paint, actually, the slick paint, and mixing it together to create a nice light yellow for the pineapple base. And we're finally about to put our first touches of paint, but wait, shouldn't you put a white base coat on first? The answer is yes, because I quickly realized without my white base coat, there was no way the yellow was gonna show up. So I start by putting some white matte fabric paint, and I did multiple layers of this before it was finally time to paint. Going in for layer two and realizing how long this was taking already, I truly am understanding Mariah Elizabeth's 
pain and agony that she goes through when she does this. Obviously she loves it, but it is hard work. It takes, hang on, gotta turn on my hair dryer real quick. Anyways, I just have mad respect for anybody that does this, and now I understand the process that goes into it, but I truly loved doing this. It was actually really therapeutic and a lot of fun. But we're finally ready to take our first steps into the painting experience by adding our yellow coat. So I think I need to address the elephant in the room, Georgie, or should I say the duck in the room? Georgie is one of Mariah Elizabeth's characters that she created in one of her videos. Georgie! And I just want to let everybody know that me doing a pineapple has nothing to do with Georgie and it's not correlated to Georgie at all. I love Georgie. I just literally happen to have a pineapple squishy and I only have like three squishies in my house so what were you expecting me to do? Anyways, now that we've gotten that out of the way, we can finally get started with the top of the pineapple which is just going to be a lighter version of this green. So I'm just mixing some white slick paint with some green matte paint together and I'm using them to paint the top. This was actually way easier than the yellow. It took a lot less coats and I think the colors look great together. So now I'm mixing an even lighter color and using that to kind of top off the little edges and to make them more sharp of the pineapple crown so this kind of smoothed over after I had to cut off pieces of it. You can't notice this too much but I do really like the way it looks. I think it was a nice little addition. So now I'm doing a few cleanups here and there with the yellow because I'm actually going to be covering up parts of this with an orange color along the stripes. So basically I'm taking some orange and mixing it with the yellow to create a darker yellowy orange color and I am using my dotting tool to go along the stripes just like this here. Now all that's left is the face which made me very, very nervous. <laughs> So I started using some white paint just to kind of sketch out where I wanted to go. This face is going to be, again, super simple. Then I went in, went for it with the black paint, and actually the black paint wasn't really the issue. It went on nice and I got a nice little face, some squinted eyes, really easy, and I thought it looked really cute. Now when it came to the mouth, I started off with a bright red and I thought that looked too harsh, so I replaced it with a pink. And then actually off camera, I got rid of it and then redid it like three times. I don't know why, but eventually I got it to something I was satisfied with. And with the face done, this is a squishy makeover all complete. I really love the way this turned out. I am very surprised at myself for my first ever makeover. This one turned out super cute. Obviously it is super simple and I didn't do anything drastic, but I love the way it turned out and I don't know, just so cute. Okay, time for the hot dog. So we are starting this one off the exact same way that we started off the pineapple and that was by scratching the heck out of it with some sandpaper to make tiny rips in order for the fabric paint to stick. Once I finally finished doing that, it was time to repair yet another large gaping hole that is eating you with some, you guessed it, fabric fusion. So we are using the fabric fusion to seal up the hole and then again rubber banding it and waiting for that to dry. Very good. Boom. It is now finished and here it, oh, oh. Just me being clumsy, okay? Removing the rubber band from that one, and this is what it looks like. Not perfect, but it is sealed up okay. So we had quite a bit of little rips and tears to fix with some puffy paint, so I went in for quite a few layers of this. This is the first layer. I'm going straight from the tube to kind of get that build up that you need. I don't know how it got this way to the point where I needed so many fixes, but it did, so here we are. Layer two, and we're back to going the same thing. I'm using a paintbrush this time to kind of feather out the edges and make it smoother. I spent a lot of time feathering this out because I wanted to make it as smooth as I could, and yet I felt like no matter how much I did, it was never gonna be perfect. Layer three, and we're still going over this, trying to make it as smooth as possible. It was definitely not perfect, and even at the end, it wasn't looking completely smooth. Next, I started applying layers of white, and I wanted to make sure that this is very white because my design is going to be pastel. Actually, this is going to be my entry into the Claire Estelle 1K art contest. Claire Estelle is one of my friends. We did a nice collab together and soon after that she actually hit 1,000 subscribers and this is her little art challenge celebration and I thought I would enter into the art challenge by using this squishy that I'm designing in this video. So as you can see, the colors I'm using are light blue, light pink, and light purple and these are very pastel colors so you can actually barely see them right now but I'm doing like a very swirly pattern along the sides of this hot dog which is not going to actually end up being a hot dog. It's more of like some sort of dessert. I don't know what it actually would be, but definitely not a hot dog anymore. <laughs> but yeah, I went over this so many times. I kept going over and over these swirls and eventually they started to darken up, but I wanted them to still be pastel and still be very light because that is the theme of the challenge. 
This is so satisfying to watch and I was so happy with how it was coming out at this point. It was just looking super cute, obviously kind of weird, but also super cute. Going over this layer after layer was also very therapeutic for me. And this is what it looked like once all the stripes were done. The next step was to do the top part, and for the top part, I actually put on some slick fabric paint. I was trying to make it kind of textured at first, but it wasn't really working, so I just kind of built up the layers. So I actually used a popsicle stick at one point to really add to the texture to make it go on smoother, I guess. And I also added some drips on the side of it just to give it a more dessert -y look, I guess. I don't really know, <laughs> but I do like the way it looks. So I did have to build up the white for quite a bit in order to get it to look cohesive and for it to look pure white and to make the drips look good and everything but I finally got it all good and when I finally did that it also added some fun sprinkles on the top in the shapes of stars and little dots which I think really helps tie it together. And this is what the final thing looks like. I am absolutely in love with this and here's my official entry into the Claire Estelle 1k challenge. Yeah I'm just so happy with it and so excited to be done with it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We finally finished both of the squishy makeovers. Only took me like two weeks, but we finally did it. So here is the first finished one. You obviously saw it before, it's the pineapple. I love this one so much. I'm so glad that I did it. Clara, here is my submission for your challenge and I really hope you like it. I'm pretty proud of this. I put a lot of time and effort into it, and yeah, maybe I'll win. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you want to. You can also comment down below for a chat a chance, a chance to win a shout out. I should do the rest of it in an Irish accent. Here's the shout out from the last video. Thank you so much for watching this video and for subscribing and for commenting down below. If you want to be the shout out in next week's video, all you have to do is comment down below whatever you would like and you have a chance to be picked. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next Friday. <laughs> okay, bye guys.